Dora and Chester Fronsack were married in Chicago at the beginning of 1963. Soon the young wife became pregnant and on April 26, 1964, at the Michael Reese Hospital in Chicago, she safely gave birth to a boy. The baby was perfectly healthy, and his parents accepted congratulations on the birth of their first child. The boy was named Paul Joseph. On the morning of April 27, a woman in a nurse's uniform entered Dora's room. She took the baby for inspection. However, time passed, and the child was not returned to Dora. The concerned mother decided to ask the hospital staff what was wrong with her baby, why it took so long to bring it. Then it turned out that no inspection was planned. At first, the hospital staff tried to find a fake nurse and a child on their own. There were eyewitnesses who saw that the woman quickly left the hospital building, got into a taxi and left in an unknown direction. Then the police and the FBI joined the search. The disappearance of Paul Joseph Fonseca trumpeted all over the media. Parents even appeared on television with a request to return their baby. However, in the first days, the search did not yield any results. The investigation reached a dead end. It was only in March 1966 that hope dawned for the parents. They were told that a child matching the description had been found. About 10,000 boys were tested, and there was one who could not be completely excluded. The baby was found abandoned in a Newark, New Jersey, shopping center more than a year ago. No one was looking for him, the boy was transferred to a foster family under temporary custody. Chester and Dora doubted it, of course. After all, the mother saw the son only in the first day after his birth, and the father did not see at all. However, FBI investigators convinced them that the baby in the photo and this boy know the same shape of the skull and ears. Analysis on the blood group of a child born to Dora Fronsack, was not. Just as there were no prints of his hands or feet. I wanted to believe in a miracle. And Frontage admitted to the foundling as his son. They were able to provide Paul with a happy, carefree childhood. Paul Fronsack learned their amazing story of ten years of newspaper clippings, found in the basement of my parents' house. Now he lived in doubt, but he could not confirm or deny the relationship to the family yet. It was only in 2012 that Paul Jofek Fronsack persuaded his parents to submit their DNA for examination. The result of the analysis was unambiguous the relationship is completely excluded. Now Paul has two tasks, to find his biological family and the real son of Chester and Dora Fronzuk. Surprisingly, a group of DNA detectives volunteer scientists in 2016 helped Paul with the first task. His biological family was based in Tennessee. It turned out that the man's birth name was Jack Rosenthal. He was born on October 27, 1963. He had a twin sister, whose fate, unfortunately, remains unknown to this day. The man met his numerous relatives. He learned that his own mother was an alcoholic, and his father was mentally unstable after participating in the Korean War. In his interviews, Paul says that he is happy that he was raised by foster parents. An interesting coincidence is that Dora Franzuk, Paul's foster mother, also had her birthday on October 27. Paul Joseph Franzik decided not to change documents. He still bears the name that his foster parents gave him. Under this name, the man wrote the book Foundling, in which he told his story. He intends to find the real son of Chester and Dora Rizakov. I even asked experts to construct a portrait of an adult man based on a single infant photo. Modern science provides such an opportunity. The resulting portrait was distributed in the American media. Surprisingly, there were people claiming that it can be a real Paul Transcom. Sam Miller grew up in the suburbs of Chicago and only recently found out that he is a foster child. He presented his baby photo. Take a look and compare for yourself, on the left is one of the first photos of Sam, on the right is the only photo of the real Paul. On the left is a photo of Sam, on the right is an age portrait created by experts in infant gender photography. The similarity is obvious. However, DNA testing again put everything in its place. The theory was not confirmed. 
The search continues. Unfortunately, Chester Fronzak will never see his first child again, he died in August 2017.